I'm Brian Bossler, and tonight I'm not in Cuba. I'm actually here in Trenton, and on tonight's Moment in Time, we're going to take a look at the history of cigars in the city of Trenton. 100 years ago, Trenton was an industrial hub with many pottery companies and, of course, the Roebling factories. But one thing you may or may not know is Trenton's love affair with cigars. Looking inside an old business directory at the time of 1901, more than 200 cigar shops could be found throughout the streets of the city, and in 1932, the New Jersey cigar business got a big boost when Havana, Cuba-based La Corona brand cigars picked Trenton as the place to relocate their production operations by building a beautiful new factory at 507 Grand Street in the south ward of the city. Headlines on July 17, 1932, suggest the excitement in the town as Trenton would become a, quote, manufacturing center for internationally famous cigars and create 1,000 local jobs. Attention was given to the styling of the new $200,000 factory, giving it Spanish character, complete with gates and a fountain, making a point to the market that their tobacco was still grown in Havana, but rolled, boxed, and shipped from Trenton. Henry Clay and Bach and Company was the official name that produced the La Crona brand. And with word of the business coming to Trenton, we find out in this Trenton Magazine article that the Chamber of Commerce held a special banquet to welcome their new business friends. Henry Clay and Bach and Company did well until the 1950s when they consolidated operations and changed their name to the Cuban Tobacco Company Incorporated in 1954. Then, with the Cuban Missile Crisis in the 1960s, President Kennedy banned Cuban tobacco in the United States, and the business collapsed, and finally, in September 1967, the cigar factory closed for good. The building was vacant for several years before Hibbert Printing Company used the space as storage in the 1970s, but in 1985, the building was brought back to life and refurbished into an apartment building called the Grand Court Villas. And that is the story of the many faces of the old cigar factory tucked away in South Trenton. With another moment in time, I'm Brian Bossler.